All right, I wanted to make a quick video of my end of the day shutdown procedure. This has been honed after, after over about a year and a half of printing daily. Uh, usually uh, six days a week, let's say, and maybe 10, 14 hours a day. So the first thing I do is as soon as the print is done, you want to make sure you turn the preheat back on so that the filament never, you never want the filament to solidify in the print head. So you always want to either have it hot and ready for the next filament or ready for the next print or you, you're, you're going to clean it out when you're done at the end of the day. So that's number one. So the first thing you do is you go down and select uh, uh, unload filament from the menu. So I could show that. So I got the preheat on. This is the same pre uh, uh, settings I set the bed at. Set the printer at for the last print. I'm done for the day. Now I go to tools, filament, and I'm going to press unload. Now come up here, press that button, so you can see what happens. As soon as it's pressed, you got to do something. So. All right, so I'm going to press that button, unload. And it, it, it feeds the filament in into the head for about five minutes. You want to push down this little button and pull up. Sometimes there'll be a little teeny string here at the end, but so it's hard to tell. Sometimes sometimes you'll get a little plug that comes out of where the filament was in the in the hot area of the uh, print head. Maybe sometimes you don't. So so that's the end of this. So you just put it over the side and let it cool. The next step is to take your three millimeter uh, hex wrench. And you want to unscrew these screws on the on the fan on the front here. Now, some of the early videos I, I did, I took this fan and put it over to the side and much other stuff. You don't need to do any of that. So this is the optimized procedure, or at least from my point of view. It's been printing very reliably lately, so I like this. Sometimes I'll do this in between prints. If I've been running a couple different filaments or if I'm changing filaments, sometimes I'll go ahead and clean the head out. If I, if I feel like it, just to make the uh, next print smoother. Also, if I'm rebalance, if I'm re uh, re uh, uh, leveling the bed, sometimes I, I won't um, uh, clean the filament out completely to re level the bed, and it some drips out. So when you use your uh, use your index card, you get a little bit of filament on there. So I try to clean the filament off as best I can, and then use the the uh, brass brush to get as much off as I can, but it, it, since it's still hot, there's going to be some filament dripping out. But if you work pretty quickly after cleaning the end of the uh, nozzle, then you don't get too much. It doesn't affect the leveling too much. That's another thing. After before every print, I level the bed every time because I'm I'm usually printing for four plus hours on each print. So if I spend a minute leveling the bed before the print it's going to be a lot better, at least with this printer. Maybe other printers are, are more stable. This one, even though I haven't changed any of the parameters as far as heating, the nozzle and or the uh, print bed, in between prints, or at the end of the print, the bed level is going to be slightly different than it was before. Because you, first of all, you, you remove something from the bed. So you, you put some force on it by pushing with this uh, spatula or whatever. So it's possible that the spring's uh, slightly compressed and Things got jiggled around a little bit, so I recommend leveling the bed before every print. It works for me. Okay, so enough of that. So now we've got this open. Let me get over a little closer here. Now what we want to do is we want to let's see if I can. We want to use our uh, nozzle cleaning tool and push it down in the hole. We move it. All we need to do, we leave the fan where it is. Just move the uh, move the motor back, and it, it can it's resting on its little ledge here, so it's not going to go anywhere if you're careful. You know, and also, like before, I was I was disconnecting these wires and a bunch of other stuff. It's just like, it's clearly not necessary. So you, you you insert the tool down in into the hot end, and then I usually spin it like this. I'll show you why in a minute. Down below. Some filament we've got to push it out. We're going to use our tweezers. Grab that. So we can 
tab that filament off, put that away, put that aside there. Let me come back up here again. And uh, when we pull this out, after spinning it, some of the filament will stick to the uh, this cleaning rod. So then you want to clean that off. I, did, I usually use the spatula that came with the um, with the uh, printer. It's kind of blunt, but it works perfect for this. You, you want to clean this off almost before it completely solidifies or it's hard to get off. So I waited a little bit too long that time. But. So you get this off. Now I usually do it twice, so I put it back in there. Same procedure, push down, rotate. You, do, you don't want to scrape up and down as I was doing for a while because it erodes, it will erode the uh, heat break tube in there. So you, you don't want that, to, but just spinning it like this is very gentle, it doesn't do anything. I'm gonna use this, the tweezers again and get down, get any other little residual uh, filament that's got squirted out. Usually nothing else comes out. So we got some more here. That's, that's probably all we're gonna get. So I'm gonna scrape that off again by rotating it and scraping. Soon it'll be a little blob if I do it right. Just pull it off, so it's not too hot at this point. I'll go ahead and put in one more time just for fun. I don't think we'll get anything else. All right, there's a, a teeny bit left, so usually twice is enough, three times is plenty. So, all right, so we got, we got all that out. Now we want to actually clean the nozzle itself. So the this two, this uh, cleaning rod doesn't go through the nozzle. It's too, it's too thick. It's so, almost the same diameter as the filament, so the the raw filament, this this diameter. So then I got these cleaning needles. I'll, I'll put a link to these. This is just the brand I got. Any cleaning needle. This is a 0.4 millimeter cleaning needle, which is the diameter of the nozzle. You just shove that down there. And then you, I usually spin it around a little bit, and then usually some will come up, so you, it caught some of it. Sometimes it, it'll catch on the end of the nozzle, so what I'll do is I'll push it. Well, first let me show you how I get it off there. So I use my um, nippers. This almost it cools almost immediately every time, so you can't really get it off while it's molten. So just slide the nippers on the end like that. Don't, 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 don't just kind of like you're stripping a wire. And then you can get, you can reuse this. I I've, I haven't uh, messed up any of these needles uh, with this procedure. So I've still got all all the needles left. I did bend a couple at some point, but the ones that I've just been using for cleaning the nozzle when everything's working, I, I just get to keep reusing them without buying new ones. So. And that's it. So now now the hot end is all cleaned out. So we just uh, put it back together, screw these uh, screws back in here. Usually do get one started and do the other one and then tighten it up. Okay. All right, so that's that. Now, while we're laying that, everything's still hot, so. Well, the last dot, I just cut this off, and then I save my uh, my little tube that goes right here. Save that the next time. Then I can pull this filament out and wrap that up. There's one last thing to do on the uh, on the uh, nozzle itself. You need to uh, you need to scrape the end of it with your uh, brass brush. So you just take this brass brush and just uh, wipe the end of it gently. You can see I've got the silicone sock on there. This is a new printer, like I said on my last video. Um, this is a new printer and uh, it's the same as the old one, just the old one wore out. I'll get into that more later. But. So in this case, it, it came with the uh, it came with the uh, insulating tape, the capon tape, and capton tape, and the little insulator. But I just put a silicone sock right on top of it, so that should keep everything much cleaner. All right, then you're done. So what I, last thing I do is I uh, turn off the preheat, preheat off, 
and then I go to tools and go to home. So then my my uh, printer is all set to go to level for bed leveling uh, next time. I, I make sure this is all clean. So. And then it, uh, make sure the bed is clean. Once it's at home, it's very close to where it wants to be for leveling, so that's going to be much quicker the next time you start printing. And that's our procedure. Works, it's been working great for me. I gotta say, I'm printing six, seven days a week, 10, 12, sometimes overnight, uh, and uh, it's been very reliable. So, I, I, I recommend following this procedure for your 3D printing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.